Ukraine launched a precision strike deep inside Russian territory, just hours after President Joe Biden lifted restrictions on the use of American munitions. The Ukrainian army utilized HIMARS to target Belgorod, a key base for Russian attacks in northern Ukraine. Recall, for more than two years, the Biden administration had imposed limits on the use of American-supplied weaponry, allowing Ukraine to deploy them only against Russian targets on Ukrainian soil. However, recent devastating Russian strikes on Kharkiv prompted a reassessment. The indiscriminate bombings, including an attack on a home improvement store that claimed 18 lives, led to a decision to erase the restriction. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky hailed the move, stating it would enhance Ukraine's ability to defend against Russian aggression. As the rockets rained down on Belgorod, Russian media captured scenes of air raid sirens and fiery launches of air defense batteries as the Ukrainian rockets thundered toward the city of 384,000. Belgorod and its surroundings serve as a base for Russian forces launching attacks on Ukrainian border towns, particularly towards Kharkiv. The strike on Belgorod marks a significant move in Ukraine's ability to target Russian military assets deep inside Russia, Forbes assesses. Previously, Ukraine had only used locally made or European munitions for such strikes. However, the availability of American-made precision weapons like HIMARS and ATACMS now offers Ukraine a more potent capability. Ukraine may strike at Russian targets in Belarus, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania. Russian troops were stationed on the territory of Belarus from the very beginning of the full-scale invasion. From there, they attacked the northern regions of Ukraine. Currently, Russian troops are stationed in training camps and for other purposes. However, there is a hypothetical possibility of transferring enemy troops from Russia to Belarus to launch new strikes on Ukraine. The head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania, Gabrielas Landsbergis, commenting on the question of journalists about whether Ukraine can strike on the territory of Belarus, said that if Russia moves military facilities to another place, then the selection of targets must be moved. If Russia Fearing that the targets may be fired on in Russia may move them somewhere else, I believe that the selection of targets should also be moved, he said. Answering the question of whether Ukraine should strike targets in Belarus, the Lithuanian foreign minister noted that he meant that Ukraine should have the ability to defend itself. Recall already, the West allowed Ukraine to hit targets in Russia. The US allowed Ukraine to use American weapons for strikes on the territory of Russia. However, there will be certain restrictions. Ukraine began to receive positive signals from diplomatic channels about the limited use of American weapons in the border region with Kharkiv. Germany also allowed Ukraine to use German weapons on the territory of Russia in accordance with international law to protect against Russian strikes from the enemy's border areas. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that the target and the flight route for modern strike systems are submitted remotely or automatically without any presence of Ukrainian servicemen, adding that this is is being done by those who produce and ship these strike systems to Ukraine. Putin underscored that NATO countries must realize what they are toying with. Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev also said that all long-range weapons shipped to Ukraine are being directly controlled by NATO servicemen, adding that such actions should be a reason for retaliatory strikes. <laughs>
Gutes wünschen.